today uh, tonight Ella um, we have a very special guest no? sobrang aktibo nito in um, in a very um, special in, in a very um, what you call it relevant topic na pinag-uusapan ng marami okay so I think the time has come for us to introduce our special guest for tonight. This is Late Night with Dr. Ria Liza featuring up close and personal with the oil and gas nuclear energy hazard analyst, MIT engineer Ronnie M. Dagal, CEO of O3GHSE. ONG or Oil and Gas Training Center. I hope I pronounce it well. It is the only oil and gas trainer in the Philippines, and I think um, Bihira or I, uh, Bihira Ivanton Training Center, even in the whole of the Southeast Asia. A Mapua University graduate of Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering of the Batch 1980. This is an opportune time to discuss the truth, myths deeper understanding about energy with a Filipino engineer expert with extensive years of experience in the oil and gas industry. And this is also the best time to know the best training courses about energy, science, and technology for engineers. Without further ado, let us welcome on stage engineer Ronnie Tagal. Hi, sir. Balik tada ka yung camera. <laughs> Balik tada. Hi, Engineer Ronnie. Hello. Binalik ka. Yeah, dalagi na kita sa center. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Good evening. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. And uh, good evening to family. All right. So this, at this juncture, we would like to give you the floor. Uh, Sir Ronnie and our audience is very much excited to know about you. So, uh, take the floor and discuss um, about yourself and your expertise. Oh, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh... Evening, feminine genius. Yes, my. Uh, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Um, on on my side, uh, Ella. Oh, um, sa akin mahina. Sa yo, Ella. Ah, it's okay. all right, ma'am. It's all right. Okay, sige. Malakas. Yeah. Okay. Oh, ah, sige. Siguro uh, kung okay lang kung malakas ng content, no. Okay, na ba? Start na ako. Ah, uh, yes, uh, uh, my name is Ronnie Dagal. Ah, uh, I'm a uh, Mapuo graduate. Yes, as you introduce, that's correct. And I started my career in well, so many now. <laughs> uh, I started my career as a uh, mechanical engineer in. No, I wait. Sorry, I started teaching in Mapua High School in Doroteo. Jose, during the time 1981, uh, recently graduate. And uh, then after that, I joined Nescor, Maralco Industrial Engineering Services Corporation. Still alive today, uh, still still working today. Uh, and then after that, I, uh, I uh, my first year in my first year working in a bro- uh, overseas is in Singapore with McDermott International, McDermott Southeast Asia combined. And we were we were doing all the platforms, the top sides, the, the jackets. We are installing them. We are fabricating them. Uh, many people may be familiar with this uh, McDermott. No, this is an EPC, EPCI, Engineering Procurement Construction Installation of all the uh, platforms, be it a uh, super complex. CPP, Central Processing Platform, and uh, that's that's all the business there, no, in, in with McDermott. And then after that, I jumped from one company to another. Uh, from Singapore, I went to 
I joined I joined Petronas Charigali in Malaysia. By the way, I was the first uh, safety representative engineer officer in McDermott, the first also in uh, in in Malaysia, Petronas Charigali. And then I went to India with Ezra Oil. And then I jumped to uh, Libya. Libya is Occidental Petroleum. That's uh, Sutina now. And then uh, after Sutina, I'll see, I went back to Singapore. <laughs> you see, it's a lot of job. Huh? And then uh, I joined the... Uh, After Libya, I joined the uh, United Arab Emirates for Adnoc, and this is my last last stop. I worked 18 years in the United Arab Emirates for Adnoc. I uh, work with Adco, the onshore oil operation, Abu Dhabi company for onshore oil operations, and then uh, Adma, Mar- Adma, that is Abu Dhabi Marine, that is on- offshore. First was offshore, onshore, then offshore. And then I moved to uh, LNG, Adnok LNG. It was formerly the name was uh, Abu Dhabi Gas Liquefaction Plant. Okay. So after after retiring in two, that's that's thirty years, huh? <laughs> that's thirty years. Uh, after retiring, I, uh, I I started my oil and gas. Training center in 2008, no, 2008. and then after retiring, Mapua became my partner in oil and gas training. And thank you for saying that. Uh, we are the only oil and gas training center in Southeast Asia. Uh, I used to be speaker for resource speaker for Mapua for Adamson University, Adamson Petroleum Engineering University, Mapua, PSME, PSME, Philippine Society of Mechanical Engineers. And many of my students garnered uh, high post. And we'll talk about that later on, maybe. Uh, some of them are, you know, still there and earning much. Huh? <laughs> uh, Okay, what else? I'm ready to answer any oil and gas and nuclear. Uh, in fact, by the way, I want you to 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 to, to announce that uh, I had a uh, a very healthy educational discussion forum with, with Congressman Mark Kohanko, and I had a interview with with the. Uh, so I forgot that that's an Amer- in American American uh, Association. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, uh, all educational, no, all educational. My 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 educational forum is educational. Okay, uh, in regards to oil and gas and nuclear energy, and uh, this is very exciting because I'm inviting the uh, engineers. And this is the problem now, no? The engineers are not well aware not very well aware of the oil and gas and nuclear energy and we talk about the sources we can talk about this yes we can debunk them through engineering and science and engineering we always refer to science and engineering whenever we talk of of energy whenever we talk of process it's all science and engineering nothing more nothing less Okay, strictly, because we are all engineers. Okay, I think that's all, no? My introduction, for my introduction, Dr. Ray, Ria, uh, Miss Ella. Yeah, um, oh wait, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, wait. Yeah, good evening, um, Sir Kat. And meet us, of course. We've we've met. Uh, we've already have them as our guests. 
Ella, if you remember, a tawag natin the green couple because uh, they're yeah. both couples, husband and wife involved in green technology. I hope that my audio is clear now. But um, yes, ma'am. Um, yeah. I'm quite ex- uh, I I know a bit of um, oil and gas because um, my husband used to work at Slumberjay. <laughs> Slumberjay. Uh, mm-hmm. Slumberjay, yes. And um ano to, eh, during those times in the past no very lucrative um career in the oil and gas. Uh, because um as far as I remember uh, Ella and um uh, engineer yung um the uh, the shift no the shifting of the those in the oil and gas are three weeks on three weeks uh, two three weeks off all paid tama di ba ganon siya kalukratib no? <laughs> engineer Ronnie no o, kaya yung um no oh, no araw ang uh, mga hari sila eh, no but but you know um but 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 there was a time I, I think I, I as far as I remember, please correct me if I'm wrong, Engineer Ronnie. Dalawang series, eto mo lately na dalawang series were in the oil and gas industry is on a downfall. Can you explain to us, no? What makes this oil and gas um, fluctuate at some point in time? Because um, way back, it, I remember it a uh, way back in 2012, 2010. When dollars are so high and there was a massive um, retrenchment of workforce in the oil and gas, ano po ba yung naging issue? Bakit bumabaksak or tumat? But pa nagwave siya to. Okay, my turn. Ah, uh, kasi uh, you know very well that uh, there was this crisis in around in 2010, but the crisis is in favorable of oil and gas last time that that you were talking uh that time the uh i think per barrel goes up to 150 us dollars per barrel that crisis is favorable for for oil and gas now if you're asking 